Hey everybody, this is Tammy, the Fibonacci Princess from the Fibonacci Room here at Simpler Trading. Um, I thought I would take a look at Riot. Uh, my husband, Bruce, that has the bias room here at Simpler Trading asked me to take a look at it for him. So I did do that. Now, as you can see here on the daily, we do have a ton of resistance on the way up. But what I do like about it is that we are above the 200 and the 5 and the 13 have crossed back over to a buy. So the only moving average you don't have on your side is the 50. So we're below the 50, but we're above the 200 and the 5 and the 13 are on a buy. So what I wanted to do then, even though I know there's tons of resistance on the way up, is I want to come down to a 30 minute chart and see what kind of support I can get here on the 30 minute chart. And I do have several setup zones for you here. We've got 27.26 to 27.89, 26.76 to 26.95, and 25.75 to 25.94. Okay, now I don't know if that low from today is going to be any good. Um, it didn't come, it, it got really close to the setup zone, uh, but not an exact hit. But if the low from today is any good, I can go ahead and calculate some resistance for you on the way up and also targets here on this 30 minute chart. So we'll go ahead and look and see what those are going to look like here. And now I'm going to delete everything that I will not need. And then we will take a look at these resistance lines here on the way up. Okay. And on these lower time frame charts, a lot of times we're just looking, trying to look at the 618s and some of the 100%. So you may have some resistance coming into about 2868 to about 2956 there. And if, like I said, if that low from today is any good, your target is going to be 3189 and 3294 on the 30 minute chart. Now, sometimes the question I get is, can you use the target from the daily chart for the setup on the 30 minute chart? And yes, you can, but of course, I don't have a target for you yet on this daily chart, but I do have resistance. And so that was one of the things that Bruce and I were looking at is, you know, what is the expected move for the next expiration date here on Riot? Uh, I don't know if it was, I'm pretty sure it was the June one, and it was only six points. So um, between the 28 uh, that we're at right now and the resistance that we're looking at there on the daily. So I think that he was looking for a setup with that. I don't know. I can't remember. But um, here are your setup zones. Here is your resistance on the 30, and then, then here is your resistance on the daily, okay? So I know it is kind of confusing, but um, if you would like to play Riot, these are the setup zones I want you to be looking for. All right, everybody, I hope you have an awesome rest of the day, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 